What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about hitting 60K subscribers on YouTube, uh, an announcement or two, and also some thank yous. Now, I'm going to expose myself. I'm actually recording this when I have 59,900, 59, so I'm not at the 60K when I'm recording it, but, you know, I've I got things to do. I will record it now and then put this up uh, later. No, what I want to do, though, firstly, is thank you guys. I, I try to do it every so often, um, and I try to do it on Twitter. I try to do it here. Uh, every now and then but I, I truly do appreciate all the support whether you're a patreon supporter or a youtube member or you literally just are even if you're a silent viewer i know so many people that maybe will comment once every three four five months but they've been subscribed for years and i know they you know watch a lot of the videos so i, I greatly appreciate you guys watching and and supporting and being with me for all this time i know the channel is probably not one of the easier channels to keep up with because of the massive amounts of videos and because of the different kinds of videos right we've really developed groups of people which for youtube purposes kind of sucks but also just in a general format i actually really like i love having a scream community that yeah they don't care about the games who cares that's fine you like scream I, the gaming community that doesn't care about scream or stuff like that i mean you know those are just two examples but i really appreciate all the support now what i want to say uh you know I, well, I wanted to get that out of the way and just kind of make that very well known of just how much i appreciate you guys but i wanted to announce one major thing okay so you know is there improvements that I'm trying to make in the channel? Of course there are. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to do better in thumbnails. I'm trying to actually maybe get people to do thumbnails, uh, you know, for me. Editing, same thing. You know, I, obviously I'm not a world-class editor. I've never pretended to be one. Uh, and so, you know, those things I do think will improve over time. That's the, just the normal stuff. Of course, I want to just be covering as many things as, uh, as possible, whether it be news or, you know, big games, big movies that I am into. Obviously, you see those more often, like... Like Scream or like you'll probably see for God of War, like Hogwarts Legacy and, and Gotham Knights and stuff like that. So obviously really status quo with a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. It's just some things will be elevated. Some things will kind of be brought back down. And uh, and that's the way the channel will be over the next little while. But one big announcement, I really want your feedback here. I'm going to try this. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that's uh, that's okay. I've, I've, I've tried. You know, I've, I've tried to do different things on the channel. And people sometimes will complain that it's too similar. And then sometimes people will complain that obviously I do too many you know, one thing that's super different versus another thing. But I have tried different, even structural, structural videos uh, that don't always get received in terms of views. Now I know, you know, two, three, four, five hundred views. Those are real people that I, again, like. I love those people. And I know those are kind of like the silent, diehard audience that I super appreciate. But at the end of the day. I think people do understand. I think the my audience is a pretty smart group. It is, you know, it, it, it is a matter of okay, well, people need to watch the stuff that I'm making. This is my job, you know, my day job, my only job. So you know, I, it needs to be successful in a way. You know, what I mean, in in, in uh, is one level or another. But here's what I want to do. Okay, and I wrote this down. Let me see what I got here. Uh, does it hold up? That's going to be uh, the kind of the title or maybe even the subtitle of the series. So. I'll be honest, right? I've seen videos online, and there's videos that talk about reviewing a game so many years later, right? So they'll be like uh, reviewing LA, and I can never say Noyar, Noyer, whatever, whatever that game is, however you goddamn pronounce that game, uh, seven years later, eight years later, and that'll be the title. And I've watched some of them. A lot of them I'll just kind of like see the, uh, the, the thumbnail and the title, and I really like that idea. See, I play a lot of games and and uh, there was obviously a phase in my life where I played a lot of games I just didn't beat any of them now I play a lot of games and beat a lot of games but historically you know I've played a lot it's kind of what makes me um well I, I feel like it kind of gives me an edge just because I, I feel like I have a lot of experience in the gaming industry so what I want to do is I want to talk about those games now so similar in a vein of you know reviewing this game eight years later, five years later, two years later, right? Somewhat like what maybe you've seen other YouTubers do. But number one, I feel like my presentation or how I talk about things is different than pretty much anybody. I don't really know anybody who talks like I do, okay? And that's, maybe that's an ego thing, but I, I just generally believe that. You can prove me wrong if you want. And uh, But I want to do that along with the added, again, subtitle of does it hold up? And I think that's important when we talk about any movie i want to do movies too or games right where it's like you, know, you can review it now but also i think a great movie or a great game can hold up 
years, decades after the product uh, was released. Now, obviously, remasters and remakes and stuff like that have made it easier for them to live, but I, I want to talk about the base idea. So I'm going to start it. This may be controversial. I want to start it with Life is Strange Before the Storm. So that's a, it's a more niche game. It's a smaller game. I'm not expecting it to do phenomenal in terms of like viewership and stuff, but I want to try this series. I do expect there to be more editing involved than a normal video, so you can applaud me for that. Uh, no, but I, I, and this is also the controversial thing. So I, what I think I'm going to do, and I'm just going to try it once and we'll see kind of how it does, is I'm, I may go on a script. I may write myself a script and I may read off the script. Now, I've done scripts before, but it's when we had like a thousand subscribers and it's when the videos would get like a hundred views as the max. So I have done it maybe like 10 times in my life and uh, and I liked it. I actually did like writing myself scripts and reading it and I still feel like I can kind of talk fluidly even though I'm reading something because it's my own words, right? So I'm going to try it. Maybe I'm setting myself up for failure because it's a little different, and I'm also I, I want to start it with Life is Strange, but I want to do different games too. I, I'm thinking maybe uh, one idea that came into my head, like Sly Cooper, with how you know much I'm into it. I know there's a community there, and uh, when we get closer to like an announcement or when an announcement happens, I could easily do all four of those games, right? One, two, three, four. Do they hold up? The prototype or Prototype, the first game. I don't really want to play the second one again, but Prototype is a game that means a lot to me. Uh, does that game still hold up? And again, I think there's an audience there. So those are some examples. And I'm not opposed to doing movies either. I think movies would kind of be fun to do as well, but that's kind of what I want to do. So this is a series that I expect to do maybe like once a month, if that. Uh, maybe, maybe You know what? If it's successful, I'll do it every other week or I'll do it every week or something like that. But, uh, but I, I want to really try to put some additional effort in. I think it fits with the other content that I do. You know what I mean? And they are kind of reviews, but they're going to be a little bit different than that. So I'm excited about the idea. I was thinking about it for about like an hour or two last night, just kind of <laughs> sitting uh, and just kind of just thinking, oh, this would be kind of a cool idea. So I want to do it. I want to start it. Um, I'm playing Life is Strange Before the Storm right now. So I think it'd be a good just to, because I want to be able to play the game and then talk about it right after because it'd be fresh on my mind. I'd have a lot to say about it, stuff like that. So that's going to be hopefully a new series that I do want to make a series. And I understand, you know, it's not a one and done. Like if Life is Strange, if this thing comes out and then it gets 300 views, it doesn't mean I'm going to immediately stop. I do want to try it a couple times, see if maybe it was just a bad pick for a game or if there's things I can improve, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot. Unlike the Save Point podcast. I don't know if anybody cares about that thing. That was a good try. I don't know if I'll ever... I, I'm sure I'll bring it back at some point, but I'm probably done with it for the uh, for the foreseeable future just because that was kind of taking a chance and I was trying to do something different. But at the same time, it's introducing uh, 20, 30, 40, 50 minute uh, like a video, which is a, a, a podcast really, right? And to spring that on an audience, even from like a YouTube, uh, YouTube algorithm perspective, do, just doesn't work and i've actually watched several videos of people that you know are in the know of how youtube works behind the scenes talking about actually specifically what i did is not a good idea it's just not because it just doesn't uh youtube doesn't really know what to do with it it doesn't reflect well on your channel to youtube stuff like that so uh that's probably why that failed and it didn't really fail i mean i had a lot of fun and i think people enjoyed it that watched it but i think this one does it hold up this idea i think it's, it's one that actually can work and, and actually be rather big for me. So I'm hoping. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here and, and supporting. We have other, you know, things. And I've talked about it before. Like once we get more people in terms of Patreon and YouTube memberships, like I want to expand that. I want to give people more things. Maybe do like uh, live streams, exclusive live streams or live streams first to, uh, to like the people that are, you know, supporting us financially. So I, I do have ideas for that. Um, I have an idea for like 70, 75 K and so we'll just kind of go from there, but you know, it, it kind of is lame or maybe even boring to say like expect the same, but I mean, I've been growing well, or we've been growing well and, uh, and I'm happy with what the channel is doing and it's always had ups and downs and it's always kind of evolved very slowly and kind of like behind the scenes quietly. But I feel like over the last, I don't, well, even like one to two, it really hasn't been that long since we got going in the way that the channel is now. It's only been like one and a half, two years, if that. 
if that. I feel like the channel always kind of changes uh, every year or so, just slightly, where I can't really say, oh, well, it's the same as it was last year. Not really. And I feel like that happens uh, uh, you know, constantly. So I'm really happy with where we are. I do think the fact that I'm a variety channel in the variety of how I do it, I do think that definitely slows me down in terms of growth. Uh, obviously, if I was just like a Hogwarts channel, I think I'd probably be able to beat, you know, beat the growth here real, uh, relatively easily. That's just how YouTube works, right? They, they like people or they, they like channels that do one specific thing. And talking about games isn't even specific enough, right? Talk about one game, Alex, and that just gets boring and lame. And I, I, I don't, I could never do that. I never will. I never will just talk about, that's why I made me mad. I know I'm just rambling now. You can click off whenever you want. People got mad at me when I was covering Scream so much. But the, the thing that I never understood is I really... Like, yeah, I was, but I really also wasn't. Uh, at the height of my Scream content, 30 to 35% of the videos on my channel were Scream videos, which means 60 to 70% were not. So even when there was maybe a Scream video every day or, you know, several, and I get it, like that's maybe off-putting to people of the gaming stuff, but even then, there were still at least two or more videos per every Scream video. And it's like, well, you know what I mean? So I've never just talked about one thing. You're never going to get uh, a week where all I make, you know, is a uh, horizon content, there's like 20 videos that are just horizon. There's not a single other thing. That's never been what we've done. And it never will be. There will be, you know, weeks and, and, and stuff like that, th you know, throughout history, like when Hogwarts comes out, of course, for like months, there's going to be maybe a Hogwarts video every day. And that will be insane. Sure. But there's going to be other videos as well. There always will be. There always has been. So that's the kind of channel I am. Now, that doesn't really work with YouTube. And uh, and maybe I kind of get it. And it doesn't always work with certain people. But you know what? Again, those are the people I don't really want. Uh, I completely understand people not watching all my stuff. I get it. I really understand that. And I have nothing against it. But to complain about it, to demand that the channel is one way versus the other, nah, Nah, you, you can watch whatever you want. You cannot watch whatever you want. That's perfectly understandable. And I get it. And I, you know, I'll never force you to do anything, right? I, I want you to think for yourself. I want you to be yourself um, on this channel. But just kind of, you know, throw that stuff in. So thank you for helping me reach 60K. Greatly appreciate it. 65, 70K. I don't know. Which way do I go? Do I go by fives? Uh, you know, no, probably 70K, 75K are the next big milestones. Uh, I do think we'll hit those this year. So that should be pretty exciting. And we will go from there. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you made it this far, you're probably already subscribed, but hit the subscribe button regardless. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all on the next video.